You will see them fundraising, organizing, doing what we have to do to protect the win. And my part is to do my job. Surrounded by her supporters, Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price says she's gearing up for another campaign, dubbed Protect the Win, now that a date has been set for her recall election. We're going to prosecute people, as we have been, who do harm to others in our community. Yes. Tuesday night, the Alameda County Board of Supervisors voted to combine the recall election with November's general election. Price praises supervisors for not holding a special election, which would have cost taxpayers upwards of $20 million. This is a victory for the people of Alameda County. This is a win for democracy. The group SAFE, or Save Alameda County for Everyone, is leading the recall campaign. They accuse DA Price of being soft on crime. Even East Bay Congressman Eric Swalwell last week tweeting about an attack on a postal carrier. He writes, soft on crime Alameda County prosecutors have given the bad guys a green light to hurt people. We need rule of law. Congressman Smallwell has made no effort whatsoever to reach out to the Alameda County District Attorney's Office to find out what we are doing in terms of prosecuting people and holding people accountable. DA Price points out attacking a postal carrier is a federal crime and wouldn't be prosecuted by her office. Price also spoke of a state investigation into the PAC funding the recall and possible litigation due to concerns over the signature gathering by the recall team. We are evaluating all of our options and I can't really speak publicly about what the lawyers will do. Meanwhile, SAFE says it's just pleased that a date has finally been set for the recall election and that they will be monitoring how Price's campaign proceeds. There are many, many occasions she's using, uh, you know, her, uh, using the office and resources uh, doing her campaign. So, you know, we just want to make sure that, you know, she should not be doing this. In Oakland, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.